Good morning, family of God. Um, this week I'm going to be doing the devotions and my subject is the fear of the Lord. In Psalm 34 verse 11 it says, Come my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. You see, the fear of the Lord is a very special thing that we need to understand. But before we even look at that, I want to just speak about what the fear of the Lord is not. Because the fear of the Lord is not being scared of God. It's not being frightened of God. It's not worrying that God's going to zap us or punish us or anything like that. Because we know that God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus who died on the cross for us and who rose again and who has given us life and who has made us righteousness and has given us everything we need for life and godliness. So we don't have to fear God. He doesn't punish us. He might discipline us, but he uses his word to do that. 1 John 4.18 says, God is love. And he tells us there's no fear in love. Dread does not exist. Do you ever dread something? Then no, that's not from God. But full blown, complete, perfect love turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror. For fear brings with it the thought of punishment. And so he who is afraid has not reached full maturity of love. You see, fear brings the thought of punishment. But listen to what Isaiah 53, um, 4 and 5 says. It says, yet it was our griefs he bore, our sorrows that weighed him down. But we thought his troubles were a punishment from God for his own sins. But it was our sins he died for. I've lost my place. And he, <laughs> he was chastised that we might have peace. He was lashed and we were healed. So it's this great exchange that he took our punishment upon himself. Isn't it interesting? We thought his troubles were punishment from God for his own sins. And then fear definitely doesn't come from God because in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 it says, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. Being scared or fearful is not God's will for us. And actually, when you boil it down, most of our fears are fear of the future, fear of sickness or abandonment or death, fear of things that are in the future and not for us to worry about. In the Amplified, in Proverbs 15, 15, it says, All the days of the fearful and afflicted are made evil by their anxious thoughts and forebodings, but a glad heart has a continual feast regardless of the circumstances, and the fear of the Lord is going to make you glad. And then the famous scripture that everybody, almost everybody uses all the time is be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and petition make your requests known to God. And then in the Amplified it says, and God's peace shall be yours. And this is what I want to focus on. In brackets, you know, the Amplified amplifies things. So it's amplifying the word peace. And it says, the tranquil state of a soul, assured of its salvation, and so fearing nothing from God, but being content with its earthly lot of whatever sort that is, that peace will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So what we've established this morning is that we fear nothing from God. But the fear of the Lord is something completely different. And we'll look at that through the week. Always remember, you're highly favored and deeply loved.